Hello, and welcome to the 10-Minute Mastery. This 10-Minute Mastery will cover the accounting equation. We'll keep it simple and basic. We'll also include some practice applications. By the end of this 10-Minute Mastery, you will be able to apply the accounting equation. Keep in mind, for the accounting equation, the left side is equal to the right side. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. Left equals right. Let's see what this looks like in action. In example one, we are given assets equal 1,000, liabilities are $500, and owner's equity is $500. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. 1,000 equals 1,000. Here, the left side is equal to the right side. In example two, assets are $3,400, liabilities is $400, and owner's equity is $3,000. The accounting equation here is in balance. Each side equals $3,400. Now let's practice this concept. Here we need to determine the missing amount. The missing amount here is under assets. So we need to figure out what is liabilities plus owner's equity. Here we are given $300 and $200. When we add those two together, we have $500. So we know the missing amount is 500 because assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And here you can see that the accounting equation remains in balance. Each side now equals $500. In this practice problem, assets equal $1,500, and we need to select the missing amount here. This missing amount is appearing under liabilities, and we are given the amount of $800 under owner's equity. So we can ask ourselves, what amount plus 800 equals 1,500? If you selected 700, you are correct. The missing amount here under liabilities is 700. We know that because $700 plus $800 equals $1,500. This will keep our accounting equation in balance. Let's practice number three. Here in this problem, we are given assets equals $850, liabilities are $250, and we need to determine the missing amount for owner's equity. We can ask ourselves, what is $250 plus X equals 850? So if you selected 600, you are correct. $600 that is missing will keep this accounting equation in balance. Now we have each side equal $850. Left side equals right side. Let's do this again. Here we are given assets in the amount of $32,225. We are missing the amount for liabilities. We are given the amount for owner's equity, and that's 15,500. So what amount do we need to add to 15,500 to equal 32,225? The missing amount here in this equation is 16,725. And after we fill in this missing amount, you will see that the accounting equation is in balance. Assets equals 
liabilities plus owner's equity. The left side equals the right side, and both sides equal $32,225. Practice number five. Here we need to determine the missing amount for assets. We are given $1,400 for liabilities and $19,600 for owner's equity. When we add together liabilities and owner's equity, then we know that that's the amount of assets that's missing in this equation. And we also know when we add those two amounts together, we have 21,000. 21,000 will complete this accounting equation and it will keep the equation in balance. Each side is now equal to $21,000. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Let's practice one more. Here in this equation, we have assets in the amount of $467. Liabilities are 125. We are missing the amount for owner's equity. So we can say to ourselves, $125 plus what amount equals $467? And here in this equation, the missing amount is $342. 467 equals 125 plus 342. This amount of 342 will keep the accounting equation in balance because the accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Thank you for viewing this 10 minute mastery. Feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Also, Give me a like.